stupid, but whatever. <laughs> um, interesting. So uh, one thing I guess we can briefly talk about. I know in general mm-hmm. we're not like super like I guess fans of this uh, series, but there was 15 minute gameplay. What was the title of that game? Arthur? Elden Ring. Elden Ring. So yeah, the one that George R. R. Martin he said he you know, he wrote one page for <laughs> or whatever he wrote. There is about 15 minutes of gameplay that they uh, released uh, and shown. And, uh, you know, we watched a little bit of it before we recorded. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I guess just to give my two cents, you know, it looks pretty good. You know, it looks good. It It does does definitely reminds me of a a Dark Souls uh, vibe. I believe they said there's going to be some some cooperative play as well, some PvP stuff. Um, And one thing that that I find really interesting uh, about the game is the the designs of the bosses. I really Mm. like how these bosses look. Um, I think it's really fucking dope. So, uh, you know, and so that 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 really caught my eye in general as far as just seeing how the how the design is um of uh of the bosses that you're fighting against uh and some pretty wild some pretty wild bosses you know obviously uh, i think it's a, an open world more one of those things where it's like it's open world but it's linear at the same time uh so i'm excited to see more uh about it uh we're just kind of waiting on more because they said after the the gameplay as far as like oh there's going to be more release we can't really tell you anything more than that which i kind of respect because one it shows hey we are working on stuff too we're not committing to a date that we can't meet so i respect that but what are your what are your thoughts I'm liking it. I saw, um, you know, I saw the 15 minutes of gameplay. And I definitely liked what I saw. Mm. Like I was talking to you about it is I could definitely see, at least, at least in this 15 minutes, <laughs> you could definitely see how hard where all the from software stuff is, you know, the yeah. makers, the makers of the dog soul series and Chloris, um, blood. Oh, the Sony exclusive Bloodborne. Thank you. Yeah. Might've been Sony exclusive. Yeah. I didn't play it. So I forgot. It's all right. We had alley oop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, um, we totally alley oop. Yeah. That. <laughs> you know, the course of dark souls, the dark souls makers and the makers of Bloodborne from yeah. software. Yeah. Like I said, with the bosses, you could definitely see what that is. Cause you know, cause from, cause, cause, cause I think that's, that's the, that's an extra thing that's made, that's made their game so successful. It's like, yes, there's a difficulty, a difficulty learning curve. Yes, there's the you know, of course, without the amazing gameplay, but it is very memorable bosses because it's like, oh, it's a dragon, and it flips itself in half. Ah, oh, it's a mouth. <laughs> it's right. a giant mouth being disguised as a dragon. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, it's like, oh shit, yeah. And and again, um, when it comes to, I don't say, I don't say celebrity, but just more famous writers, like you know, um, uh, like you don't like Del Toro being involved in PT and the whole thing, blah blah blah. And of course, R. R. Martin dipping his feet in this. Um, I wonder, like I said, I wonder, you know, what, to a point how much she was involved in. Okay. I will yeah. say this. If there's like a cutscene or a dialogue scene where two people are speaking in a garden about backstabbing somebody, that was George R. R. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> that was George R. R. Martin. That's absolutely his bag. Yeah. <laughs> if two, if two people are speaking in a garden about backstabbing, backstabbing somebody else. Okay, cool. I can see that. I can see that script. That script day was not from software. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. No, yeah, because I remember uh, an article I was reading, and it was saying like, yeah, like I sent him something, and that was a while ago. They haven't really reached back since, you know. So they just work on the gameplay from there. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm curious to see what else. You know, I'm curious to see uh, more, and then you know when it comes out, because I might actually, I'm actually dip my feet into that one when that one comes out. Um, it's, uh, just, it's just exciting that it's a real thing. Yeah, because so. yeah, because this game has definitely become notorious with delays. Yeah, or, and you know, or unknowns of is it exists, will it exist? Um, and like we mentioned to the previous to the previous story before, you know, Take Two canceling their one game again. Cancel game, you know, cancel games is is very common in this industry. I still miss um, what would have been what would have been a sequel to Prey. Mm. Now I know I know you're saying, oh, Prey came out from Bethesda. True. But that's not the game we saw. If you go back, if you go back during E3s, there was a different Prey trailer trailer that dropped that would have put you as a, it, it, it was it was a sequel in the sense that it was tied in in the same world as the first Prey, hmm. where it's alien, aliens, like I said, loosely tied in, just yeah. it's in the same world, and that's about it. Uh, but it, you'd have been in like a U.S. bounty marshal hunting aliens, all this crazy stuff, and then that got X'd, or that premise got X'd, and then the new Prey came out, still successful. But I was I was still hoping to seeing of what could have been in that. Yeah. So again, so that's why I'm with many Elder Ring fans, are like, is it canceled? What's going on? It had to be, you know, it could, we got an update. It's going to exist. We got a delay. Okay, a delay doesn't mean canceled. Right. Exactly. Uh, it could have been canceled, but it didn't. And as of right now, the tenth of date 
Uh, we, that should be the last because it's coming up quick. Uh, February 25th. Okay. So, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So, celebrate Valentine's Day and then Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Jarrell. My name's Arthur. And welcome to the Gamers for Life podcast channel here where we discuss all things games, uh, movie re- movie things related, uh, consoles, stuff going on in the industry. We have a whole lot of fun here. We have news clips or, or funny compilations, things of that nature. Uh, but be sure to uh, subscribe here on the YouTube channel. We'd love to have you. Uh, and also, if you want to check out all things related to Gamers for Life, so if it's Arthur doing the Twitch stuff, mm-hmm. uh, or if you want to listen to our audio content as well, go to linktree.com forward slash Gamers for Life. Get all these the good stuff there. But again, welcome. And I uh, hope you can su- subscribe so you can check out more of our videos for the future. False on Instagram for new, false on Instagram for stories we don't always cover, but we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Peace. <laughs>